Welcome to Stockholm. My name is Eva and our driver is Lars Oak. This is the 64-gun warship Vaza. She sank on her maiden voyage in 1628. It is the only almost fully intact 17th century ship ever to be salvaged. And the area ahead of us and this street that we will pass along to come downtown is the most prestigious street in all. Tiger Woods had an apartment straight up here at the end of this tree avenue. Before we go downtown we plan to show you uh, the nice area of diplomacy to see the residence of the British ambassador for example and the US ambassadors they have very nice homes in this area. British ambassador with family, he lives in the white building here on our left. Not sunny enough for him to have his afternoon tea up there on the balcony. We see him sometimes and he seems to be very nice. He's nicely waving at all us visitors here. Turkey. 
then on our left, the cute stone church, which is the Anglican church, where they hold services in English on Sundays. Um, the church was moved here uh, yeah, about a hundred years ago yes, when all these yes, homes here were built up. Apart from coming over to the old town, again that is where the populations settled down to begin with, end of 1100s. I guess you were up early this morning to see some of our many islands in the archipelago. We have 24,000 islands there, so we love to go on archipelago tours. Here on the right, this little square is where there was a bank earlier where a bank robber uh, hijacked a female woman, and this was in the 70s, and the, the lady turned over and took his side, which became the so-called Stockholm Syndrome. And this is our downtown city area, big meeting point on the left, where the parade has been going on. Shopping district, you will see many shops with the brand H&M. H&M is a Swedish brand and we are very lucky to have them still living in Sweden. And Mr. Persson, the grandfather of today's managing director. And this is one of the fountains and most popular meeting points in central Stockholm. It's a glass statue actually, all of this, a Swedish glass designer who made this statue. This is the fountain where Lars Åke and myself uh, would go swimming if Sweden would go and win the championship in football or something. But that's a long time ago we had the chance to do so. And the opera house is located on our left hand side of the square here. The old opera house, the first one was built here in Sweden, in Stockholm, 1700s, and it looked exactly like the building on our right. So this is a building from the 1700s now, housing uh, the Ministry for Foreign Affairs. In the old opera house, it was... And this is now the big park on our left-hand side, which we passed earlier on this morning. Grand Hotel, straight ahead, the oldest hotel in town. That's where the Nobel Prize laureates are staying, and also Bruce Springsteen, for example, when he comes to town, he rents the top floor, all the suites on the top floor. Yeah. I'd like to get a harbor yeah. And again, we have a statue here, uh, Jean-Baptiste Bernadotte. Again, he was a French marshal working for Napoleon, was adopted uh, by the Swedish royal family after the disaster battle which was lost against Russia in 1809. Stockholm, the uh, size of Stockholm today, in central Stockholm we are uh, close to one million inhabitants in these uh, central islands here. So now we see the palace in the distance ahead of us that's located on Gamla Stan, the old town, where we are going to have a little walk and hopefully it's not raining too much. So this is the official audience of our royal family, King Carl Gustav and Sylvia, our queen, and Crown Princess Victoria. They would have their workplaces here still, but they don't live in this palace.
food and they get a little delicious probably. Yeah. It's all over the meat, a little bit of chicken. immigration of, of Finnish people. So we're very close to each other. They are a little better in ice hockey. Okay. Swedish mm. and the European the classical art in general has the largest uh, collection obviously of the Russian icons outside Russia itself. So now we're going to pass on the alleys and along the alleys of the old town again and take you over on the southern island to follow along the waterfront of the lake and that's your ship out there again and one of the many ferries next to it the island this is where we started on the other side of Södermalm the southern island I know some of you are following on the map this would be the largest of our 14 islands but this is obviously where most of us also live uh, this would be a street where uh, typical uh, handicrafts, art galleries, antique stores. We have an area here on this, because this island compared to downtown area would be more a little chic bohemic. Um, out on the right beyond the big cranes there you now see the tower of the city hall. Three gilded crowns. Beautiful view from here, isn't it? And the city hall was, of course, placed here on the waterfront. Look at the lake now, because you will see paintings and pictures and design inside, which is reminding about the lake, because it has a lot of lake descriptions and design inside. Uh, so the architect really wanted to be very peculiar about it. it should be hand-nailed bricks, and inside the blue hall we will see proper hand-nailed bricks. On the surface, we have like 18 million brick stones here, but the surface is handmade to look like an old medieval castle. We love palaces in general. Let's go inside before the next. Now listen, oh, we got to listen to this very specific sound. You see the tower there with the three crowns again? Symbol for Sweden. Where do the three crowns come from? Well, why that simple? Uh, we have no exact theory. There are a couple of theories.
Well, ladies and gentlemen, I hope that you, in the end, had a nice tour with us and that you liked Stockholm. And uh, we would love to see you come back, of course. So, Lars Oke and I would like to thank you very much for being with us here, and we wish you a nice onward trip. Welcome back to the capital of Scandinavia. Thank you. So, mainly they belong to politicians. 